My name is David Joel Hu Tai Wei. My RGU ID is 1811648, and I'm a final year student at BHMS Lucerne from cohort 13 in the Global Business Management course. I've just recently completed my mandatory internship, and here is my reflection video for BS3161 Coursework 1. For my internship placement, I worked as a night editor at C Hotel Castanienbaum, which is a relatively small but cozy hotel located in Lucerne, Switzerland, with 42 rooms over 5 floors. The hotel was equipped with a restaurant, 6 conference rooms, as well as spa facilities such as a swimming pool, sauna, and massage services. Moving on to my role as a night auditor at C Hotel Castanienbaum, my job was to manage all operations of the hotel during the night shift, ensure the safety and security of all guests, and most importantly, process and audit the hotel's daily financial records and transactions from the day shift. I worked 9 hours a day, 5 days a week, from 10.15pm to 7am. My shift starts off with me receiving the daily report from the reception staff where they inform me about what happened during the day and tell me of any important details or things that I should be aware of. Once the daily report is done, I usually sort out and file some paperwork on guests that have checked in during the day and enter all their personal information such as passport, credit card, and contact details into the hotel management system. As mentioned earlier, one of my main responsibilities was to manage all operations of the hotel during the night shift. That means I had to take care of any late guest check-ins, early guest check-outs, phone calls, emails, hotel reservations, as well as guest requests such as uh, asking for an extra pillow, blanket, uh, taking care of noise complaints, and so on. Our hotel also served as a 24-7 post office under Swiss Post, so I helped process packages and letters during the night shift as well. I also provided support for another hotel, Stansuit Hotel, which is owned by the same parent company, and I assisted that hotel with any late guest check-ins, hotel reservations, and if any guests accidentally lost their key card or locked themselves out of their room, I unlocked those rooms using the hotel's security system. If there aren't any guest requests or operations that need my immediate attention, I begin to process and edit the profits and expenses of the hotel and restaurant for the day. I collect all the money along with your respective receipts from the restaurant and reception, and then I ensure that the details have been entered into the hotel's management system appropriately, and then I correct any mistakes that were made. Once all corrections have been made and the accounts are balanced, I create and print out the daily financial reports and spreadsheets for my manager. Another responsibility I had was to ensure the cleanliness of the hotel. So after all the financial reports had been prepared, I then take out the trash, I sweep and mop the entire restaurant area, and vacuum all the conference rooms. Once the cleaning process is completed, I then begin preparing the breakfast buffet and also set up all the tables either in the restaurant or outside on the terrace, depending on the weather. The reception staff arrives around 6.45 a.m. and that's when I end my shift by giving a night report about what happened during the day and inform them of any important things that they should be aware of. Looking back on my internship experience, I really learned a lot and developed quite a number of practical and social skills. Firstly, my communication skills improved quite a bit. As mentioned earlier, every single workshop started and ended with a verbal report about important details, what to take note of, problems that arose, and so on. So I had to really learn how to communicate effectively because I was on both sides of the spectrum where I had to listen to the daily report at night and then give a nightly report in the morning. And because English was not the first language for all my colleagues, I really had to learn to improve on my German-speaking skills. Uh, which was quite beneficial for me because on top of that, the hotel management system that I had to use was completely in German. By the end of the internship, I was able to process guest check-ins completely in German, full casual conversations in German, and I had absolutely no problem using the hotel management system. Regarding working on the pressure, one of my main responsibilities is to ensure the safety and security of all guests. I had to always be ready to act immediately in case of an emergency such as fire or injury. There was actually one instance where I got a call from a guest who told me that a partner had fainted, fell on his head and was bleeding. Because I had memorized all the procedures and what to do in an emergency, I was able to act instinctively and immediately call for an ambulance. Um, they were able to arrive within 15 minutes and the guest was safely taken to the hospital. I, I also learned how to work independently and with no supervision. The kitchen and service staff usually leaves either before 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. depending on how many customers we have, whereas the reception staff leaves at 10.45 p.m. So I'm actually the only staff working in the hotel from 12 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., uh, which was really good training for me because I was able to learn how to solve problems and issues by myself. Personally, I think I was able to contribute quite a bit and bring value to the company. My contribution was managing the entire hotel's operation with no supervision five nights a week as well as auditing their financial records. I think 
to have been given such a big and important task just goes to show how much my manager trusts me to do my job well. The longer I worked in the company, the more responsibilities and tasks I was given by my manager, which really shows that the company viewed me as a reliable and valuable employee. Furthermore, I was one of the only two employees that spoke Chinese in the hotel, and because the hotel receives quite a number of Chinese tourists frequently, my manager would always tell me to help uh, in attending to those guests. I really enjoyed working in Si Hotel Castanimbang. However, there are a few improvements that could be made. Firstly, during the summer, there were quite a lot of complaints from guests that the hotel's rooms were too hot. This is due to the fact that none of the rooms are equipped with air conditioning. And because Switzerland's weather is usually cool, the rooms are built to retain heat. So that's why if the weather is hot outside, the room gets quite stuffy. Because of global warming, Europe has actually been experiencing quite a number of heat waves. Although the management has tried to solve the problem by putting a small portable fan in every room, I have to say that it has not really made much of a difference. While the best or most straightforward approach to this issue would be to install air conditioning in every room, Sea Hotel Castanienbaum is a quite a small hotel, so it will be very expensive to do and the hotel will actually have to raise the prices as well. One would argue that all the guests need to do is just leave their windows open. However, because the hotel is located outside the city, there are quite a number of insects, and so by leaving the windows open, it would create a completely new problem. Therefore, my solution would be to install mosquito netting in every single room. That way, guests can safely leave their windows open and enjoy the fresh air while not having to worry about insects coming into their room, and it will also not cause a big expense for the hotel. Moving forward in my career, I plan to pursue human resource management. Human resource managers essentially want to help employees succeed and gain job satisfaction as it will result in higher productivity levels, which generate success for the company. During my placement, I encountered a lot of employees that weren't really satisfied with their job, and as a result, they decided to leave the company. Although there are many human resource managers in the workforce nowadays, I believe that the industry is in need of managers that not only care for, their, for achieving company objectives, and employee efficiency, but also genuinely care for employees as well. I'm passionate about people, and I believe that I have the aptitude and skills to be able to succeed in this field. I've already begun to apply for entry-level positions in human resources, and I'm looking to work for an international corporation that is committed to employee growth, because I know that in that kind of environment and company mentality, I will be able to grow and develop my skills with the company's support and training. My short-term career goal is to become an assistant human resource manager within three years. As for my long-term career goal, it is to become the head of a human resource division within seven years. Thank you for watching.